Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos. This block is called Flower Patch. It finishes 9 inches by 11 inches. Here's the diagram and this is your chance to use your big prints or your pretty prints or whatever kind of print you like because this is a this is cut six and a half by eight and a half inches so a lot of space to showcase fabrics here are four blocks set block to block this block is a pattern called flower patch designed by O.C. Leibowitz and can be downloaded from the Timeless Treasures website I will have a code here for you to scan or click to download that pattern here is the cover of the pattern, what it looks like. This was done in Christmas fabrics. And what they've done, the, the framing around each block is done in two different fabrics. So this is a kind of a natural background, and this is a kind of a sage green background. And they alternated the light and the green, the light and the green. And I think it looks really pretty. And then there's just a small frame around the print. So in the middle is the print, then there's a little frame, and then the outside edge. It's really pretty. There are no AccuQuilt dies that will cut these odd shapes. And we have five patches. Patches A and B are these the little frames around the outside. So patch A is a one half inch by nine inch finished rectangle. We cut nine and a half by one inch rectangles and we'll need two patches. Patch B is a half inch by ten inch finished rectangle. We cut ten and a half inches by one inch rectangles and we need two of those. Patch C is a one inch by four inch finished rectangle. We cut four and a half inches. I will have to fix this. We cut four and a half inch by one and a half inch rectangles, and these are the little frames, the blue frames in this case, around the fabric in the center. Patch D is the fabric in the center. It's a six by eight inch finished rectangle. We cut eight and a half by six and a half inch rectangles when we need just one. And patch E is the half inch by one inch finished rectangle. We cut one and a half inch by one inch rectangles and we'll need four. And this little piece is this little part of the background that goes into the frame. And there's one on in the center of each side. Okay. So here are the cutting instructions per fabric, just to make it a little bit easier. And we're going to start by piecing the frame pieces together, which are patches E and C. So here are my fabrics. This is the frame. This is the little outer part of the frame. And this is the block. And I tried to center this design here, this way and this way, just to have a little bit of symmetry inside the frame. So the first thing we'll do is take the frame, the frame pieces and these little patch E's and we'll stitch them together like this. Stitch them together and press the seams either open or to the side, however you prefer. And we're going to make four of these. Before we go on to step two, I have a correction. This will be corrected on the copy that you download. So I'm just pointing it out here, but it will be correct on the download. On patch C, I said that we cut four and a half inch. That's incorrect. We do cut four and a quarter inch this way and one and a half this way. The finished would be one inch by three and three quarter inch finished rectangle. So this is what's changing. Everything else will be the same. And I caught that because these did not fit on here. So I had to backtrack and see where I made the mistake. So now th with these units from step one, we're going to sew one on each side of this patch D and press the seams open. Then after that, we'll sew one to the top and one to the bottom and press the seams open. Now the last thing we do, steps four and five, we're going to piece the B patch 
to the sides, press the seams open, and stitch the A patches to the top and bottom, and press your seams open. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos.